Before we talk about exactly how to combine data files into data, I want to say a few words about why you would ever want to do such a thing. There are really two general cases. First, lots of data sets, large data sets, come to you as several little data files. For a household survey, there might be a list of all the individuals in the household along with a little bit of information about each person. That's usually called a household roster. Then there might be separate files with specific data on each household member or other files that give you information about all the non-co-resident children. And often you'll see separate files that contain observations for every job the person has ever had. The second occasion you might want to combine data sets is when you have related data from separate sources. This might be as simple as different years of the same data that you want to pull together, but it may also be that you have individual data in one data set and your employer level data comes from another data set. Now, the simplest way to combine data sets is to append them. You start with one data set in memory and then use the append command to add observations from another data set. Here, we have observations from 1999 in our first data set and observations from year 2000 in our second data set. The resulting data set, after using the append command, just pools all the observations from both data sets. Now the second way to combine data sets is, to called, is called a one-to-one -one merge. Use this when the unit of observation is the same in both data sets usually. Now suppose you start with an individual level data set that contains three variables. In this case, HHID uniquely identifies the household, that's this variable. PID or person ID uniquely identifies the individual in the household. And together, they uniquely identify individuals in the data set. The third variable is the age of the individual. Now we have a second data set that also contains the HHID and the PID of individuals along with their height and weight. Maybe that's in a separate anthropometric data set. Now whenever you use the merge command, you're going to have one or more key variables that are used to match the observations between the data sets. In this case, the key variables are HHID and PID. Now, note that both data sets must be sorted by these variables before you, use, before you do the merge. So you'll need to use the sort command, unless the data is already sorted. Now, this merge command matches observations with the same HHID and PID in the two data sets and gives them the three substantive variable values, age, height, and weight. Note that both data sets have data on individual one, but only the first data set has information about individual two, and only the second data set has information about individual three. Now, in addition to actually merging the data, the merge command reports how many cases matched, how many cases were found in the master or the original data file, and how many cases were found only in the using file, that is the file that we're, we're bringing in. And as we just said, We've got one observation that was only found in the master data, one that was only found in the using, and one that was found in both. So what actually happens? In this case, the resulting data set contains six variables. It contains the two key variables, the three substantive variables, as well as a mer underscore merge variable that tells you what type of observation it is. Okay. Whether it was a, a three corresponds to an observation where data was found in both data sets, a one is the data was only found in the using data set, and the two data was only found in the 
where one, the data was only found in the master data set, and two, the data was only found in the using data set. And note that, for example, for this second observation, we've got missing values for height and weight because, well, that person was not found in the anthropometric data set. Now, to combine data, to combine data that comes from, that have, to combine data sets that have different types of observations, you usually need to do a many-to-one or a one-to-many merge. Suppose your original data is measured at the individual data and contains each person's age as well as their state of residence. And you want to combine this information about their, with it, you want to combine this data with information about their, about their state that lives in another data file. Now, because potentially many individuals will be matching to the same states, you use this many to one merge statement. So this m colon one signifies many to one. Now here we have individuals, two individuals from Connecticut and one from Texas, and our state data set just contains information about the two states, Connecticut and Texas. As before, merge gives you a report about what observations from each data set found a match. In this case, because all of our individuals come from Connecticut and Texas, and our state data set contains only information about those two sets, all of our observations are matched. So what happens? Well the resulting data set is made up of our original three individuals but now we have, a, um, we have variables population and median household income that describe the states that these people come from or that these people live. If we had started out with the state level data and we wanted to merge in the individual level data we would have used a one-to-many merge statement. Now using append and merge in the ways I've just described will handle the vast majority of cases you'll run into. But occasionally you might want to do a many-to-many -many merge. To learn more about that as well as the many options that the merge statement has, I refer you to the always helpful Stata help pages.